Hello and welcome to Minecraft. This is my failed sky trap. I can't get anything to spawn in it. Uh, number one, it's way too small. It's like a 50 by 28, 50 by 30, something like that. And nothing spawns inside. I did not find any cave systems below, so that could be one reason. So let's go ahead and uh, get to the point of this video. The first floor is right here. There's plenty of others as I go down. Uh, let's go to the second floor. I've already messed up that one quite a bit. And this goes basically that many, like every 10 blocks, all the way to bedrock. And as you can see, it's all one block wide. Two blocks high. Because that's the most efficient way to mine. Uh, look at all the material I got. Four blocks of coal. Actually more than that because you have 35 there and all the torches I made. 5 diamond, and 75 iron, which is an insane amount for maybe an hour and a half work tops. If I to, if I would have really went at this to mine for material and went as fast as I could, I probably could have got all that done in about an hour. But I was using uh, diamond picks, uh, to be honest. I did pick a couple up, and I used all the diamond I've ever found, and this is the last pick. You actually do find a lot of diamond. Uh, you can skip all these levels if you're only looking for diamond and go to the very bottom. Probably the last 20 blocks, 15, 20 blocks. And make a few levels uh, combing it for diamond. But as you can see, I deleted this one block here. Look how many new blocks are now showing. You have one, two, three, four. Four new blocks showing. Uh, and that's the same for the bottom. Four new blocks. But now, now let's go two wide. How many new blocks did I get there? I get the one new block here, one block there, one block there. And that one doesn't count because it was already showing you're doing too wide. So it's only three new blocks showing. Same for the bottom. One, two, three. Three new blocks. And it uh, gets even less efficient as you go out. Actually, it's the same efficiency as you go wider. Um, but imagine if our two have went higher as well. It's also less efficient. Uh, so any everything you go out from a two uh, two by one dimension. I don't. I might have did that backwards. Actually, yeah, it could be two by one if you went the other way as well. But uh, you can't walk through that. So yeah, uh, anything over that you you lose efficiency. So now let's go ahead and ooh, cool. Look at that. Awesome. I can go back through these catacombs since I didn't find any caves and just use it use it as a strip mine and start strip mining. Uh, the key to it being is don't try and strip mine like this. See if I wanted to mine this side here, it wouldn't be as efficient. I'd only be getting three. I'd lose uh, what 25% uh, efficiency on that. So just ignore it altogether. Uh, it's a, basically an infinite world. Might as well be efficient about it. So here we have uh, 12, 12 blocks square, 3 by 4. And look how many new blocks I get. I delete 12 blocks. Now, if I deleted 12 blocks in a 1 by 2 section, I would have uh, had, what, 48 new blocks. But here I have the 12 at the bottom, and then uh, what, uh, 8, so it's 26 is 26. 26 blocks compared to 48. That's how inefficient mining like that is. So if you're looking for material, don't strip mine like that. Uh, mine in columns. One by one. And uh, see, I mine that there, and I can skip one. And I wouldn't want to do this. I'd want to do this. You don't want to skip two. Because if I did this one, we already see that block. Here, we don't see any blocks. So those are my tips for you on mining, and uh, if you want, give me some tips on building sky traps. Maybe I did something wrong. Let me know. Uh, until then, have a nice day, guys.